Hey everyone, and welcome to my Procreate demo uh, for Big Boss. Uh, as you know, this is Big Boss from the Metal Gear series, um, particularly the way he looks in Metal Gear Solid V, uh, which was a game I absolutely loved. Um, the, I did this piece, I did the original drawing uh, a little bit before the game came out, uh, got a lot more context from playing the game, and then just recently decided to paint him up. So um, I wanted to, I knew I wanted it to be sort of during one of the sandstorms that are in the game, so I started just by putting that yellow background on there to set the tone, and then uh, the arduous task began of filling in all that hair. It's uh, one of those things where when you're drawing it, you're just adding all the spiky little hair, and then when you go into color it, you realize how tedious it can actually get. So this is a pretty uh, drawn out process uh, and there's really not much to say about it. It's literally just me going in with one of the standard brushes and filling it all in. Um, I think it's safe to say that when I started this piece, I didn't exactly know what it was I wanted to do with it. Um, I sort of knew that I wanted to do something quick. I didn't want to do it too rendered, but I didn't necessarily want to do something that I do all the time. Uh, so actually at one point in this, uh, which I don't have um, in this video because of the way Procreate splits everything up, but I actually decided to abandon the way I was doing this, started another version of the color, and then decided that that was a mistake too, and that I was chickening out on the original way that I was trying to color this. So then I went back to the file that you see here and took this all the way to completion. So here I am just continuing uh, with the hair. Uh, the style that I end up going with this is um, sort of like what I would do if I was going to render something, but then instead of actually trying to transition all of the individual um, levels of shading and, and trying to make it look like it's a little bit more rendered, uh, I sort of leave all those steps, those sort of value steps in there uh, just for fun. Okay, so the hair is almost done here, and uh, the rest of it I think will get, end up getting layered in uh, pretty quickly, and then you'll start seeing some of the rendered stuff. I tried to slow this video down so that people could see everything um, better, similar to the uh, one of the previous pieces that I did, but uh, this whole process was actually a very quick piece, so I don't think that once we get past this hair, anything will go by slow. It's probably gonna fly by pretty quickly. Uh, so here I am putting in the horn, mouth like usual I do a big mouth shape for the whole thing that way I can use it for selections and then go in and fill in uh, the teeth now here's the eye patch and then probably the other eye gets filled in next yep right there and now we start moving quickly on everything else uh, so first I was gonna put him in his ocelot colors and then I thought yeah not, that's not super indicative of the game so I went with more of his desert uh, motif um, now here I am starting to actually layer in uh, the skin, the various values of the skin, what I wanted to do with it. Um, so as you can see, I put that real hard edge there on his nose uh, and, and really made that call that there's going to be two separate uh, two separate values, like a really hard line of where that happens. And that sort of set the tone for the way that I was going to color the whole thing. So here I am just making sure I'm accenting all the cracks in his face. Uh, if you haven't played the game, I won't say much, but the, uh, the main character in this one has had a lot of work done in order to try and save his, uh, his face, so he's got a lot of scars, he, was, he suffered a, uh, he was the victim of an explosion, um, is I guess the simplest way of putting it, so his face is all a mess. Um, and he, this is like seven years later, um, nine years later, so he's healed and uh, but his face is still a mess. So I wanted to make sure that all of that was accented like it was in the original drawing. I tried to stay as close to the actual scars as he's got in the game. So here we go with the next layer um, of value. As you can see, it's very stark. Uh, it, like right on that cheekbone, just cuts off and falls off from there. On the chin, does the same thing. Enter, adding in some extra um, edging on the nose. 
So all in all, um, this was done uh, in just sort of like big, bold um, blocks. And then every now and then I would knock something back. So there I just threw in the blush layer, uh, which is what I call the red in the nose, red in the ears. Sometimes red in the cheeks, but I didn't think that fit this character. Then some of the darkening of the eyes. Uh, right around here when I was working on the teeth is when I sort of almost changed course, but then I went back and decided to finish it anyways. Uh, there I'm putting in all the environmental effects so I can start seeing how that's going to look in the end. And then I went back to uh, painting in the scarf. You can see his shoulder that's really close to us is super blurred. Um, I wanted to put a little bit of depth in there. I just put a little bit of a texture on his scarf and then added in some of the uh, camo onto his shoulder. Now I'm painting in the hair. I uh, was sort of deliberately very haphazard about this. Uh, you can see me doing a lot of sort of pushing and pulling right here where I'm laying down a lot of paint and then knocking it back because I was trying to move as quickly as possible. The original impetus for this entire piece and the style was to go quickly. So if it actually took me a long time to do it, that was going to be a mistake. So here I am just doing it really quick, throwing in some shine really, really fast and then going back and editing it by erasing away. And then when you see me turning all that stuff on and off, I'm usually creating uh, shapes for selection. Uh, I then created a background bloom and now some rim light, just putting in rim light on that side of his face that's sort of close to what's being hinted at as the bright light. And then I will turn on all the effects again once all that mustache and hair rim light is done. And there we go. So that's all of it. And then there's a quick tweak. There we go. Little quick tweak at the end. And that's the piece. I really hope you enjoyed this. It was a very different piece. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're looking for me anywhere on the internet, this is where you can find me.